What I'm going to show you is that your body turns carbohydrate food into sugar. Let's start with a typical breakfast of cereal, toast, orange juice, and a banana. Cereal has about one quarter cup of sugar. Toast has about one quarter cup of sugar. Orange juice has about one quarter cup of sugar. Banana has about one eighth cup of sugar. And that's just breakfast. Let's say around 10 a.m. you get hungry, so you have a snack. Let's say you have a fruit on the bottom yogurt. This fruit on the bottom, low fat yogurt, has a whopping one quarter cup of sugar. And for lunch, let's say you're watching your weight, so you have a skinned chicken breast, baked potato, and some bread. There is no sugar in the chicken. But the potato has a heaping one quarter cup of sugar in it. And the bread also has a quarter cup of sugar in it. So now three o'clock rolls around and you're feeling a bit tired, so you have a few pieces of candy and a soda pop. The candy is about a quarter of a cup of you got it right, sugar. And the soda is about a quarter of a cup of sugar as well. Now for dinner, you're a good low-fat dieter and you're really trying to do the right thing, so all you eat is pasta. Pasta, bread, and a soda. And the pasta again is about a quarter of a cup of sugar. The bread, another quarter of a cup. And the soda, about a quarter of a cup of sugar. Now, are you getting the picture? Look at all this sugar in the foods you're eating. Incredible, isn't it? Keep in mind now that these spikes of sugar demand a spike in insulin to push all this sugar out of your bloodstream. Now, that's just one day's worth. Multiply that by 365 days, and then by how old you are, and you should be getting the picture of why most of us have had such a hard time losing weight, and why many of us suffer from such a variety of health ailments.